Hey, what's up, day walkers and travelers of the night? Welcome back to another episode of Seek at Night. And today we're going to talk about Moon Knight again, who is going to be releasing on Blu ray 4K on April 30th. And the pre orders went up right now. So I'm going to put a link down below to the Amazon website and the Walmart website. As far as I know, those are the only two places that are doing pre orders. And obviously, there's other things coming out too. Disney announced that they're doing Andor and also Obi Wan releasing those on Blu ray and 4K. And then along for the Marvel Universe stuff, they have Falcon and Winter Soldier. But for me, I'm just excited for Moon Knight because one of the main reasons we even keep Disney Plus is so we can just keep re-watching Moon Knight. So to own it on Blu-ray will be nice because maybe we'll finally cut the cord and get rid of Disney Plus for a while and take a break from it and wait for more shows to come out and then stack up and then we'll go and binge some shows. And that's normally what we used to do, but we just didn't want to lose access to Moon Knight because every once in a while we get in a mood to just watch it, whether it's me or Blue. So for us, I'm like, this is awesome because it'll be just nice to have it. And plus it has some cool special features like deleted scenes. There's going to be two deleted scenes in this one, I think, involving Ethan Hawke's character, Arthur Harrow, talking to his like cult and everything and trying to justify, um, you know, their actions to some of them who are maybe questioning his motives. So that sounds interesting, you know, because I always wondered that in the show, everyone seemed to blindly follow him and which makes sense for a cult for the most part. But at some point, you would have to think that someone might have been like, mm, I don't know, this sounds a little too extreme for me. And I guess there's a scene where they tackle that. So it'll be cool to see that scene. And then there's also a scene where Layla and Mark and Steven are talking where she's really getting a sense of what's happening to him and how he struggles with it. And that is something that for whatever reason was cut from the show. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that scene plays out and how long that scene is. And on the Blu-ray, there's also the Assembled documentary, which is on Disney Plus right now you can watch, which is awesome. We've watched that like a dozen times too. And we even put a clip of it of Oscar Isaac talking about doing his research for DID and trying to understand it to play both Stephen and Mark and obviously Jake as well. Um, so that little clip is actually pinned on our Instagram because we just thought that was such a great thing to see Oscar talking about the level of research he did and trying to understand and have empathy for people with uh, like us, you know, who who are diagnosed with that, so or versions of it like OSDD one. So having that documentary now going to be on the Blu-ray is awesome. Um, and then they're also adding another documentary where they follow an Egyptologist around with Oscar Isaac, and they're talking about the lore and the like the the mythology and some of the history of Egypt and their gods and everything, and tying that all into Moon Knight and stuff. So uh, that stuff uh, apparently of footage that we haven't seen before, at least not that I'm aware of. So I'm excited for this. I like that they're putting so many special features on. I wish there was Mohamed Diab, you know, director commentary or actor commentary on these. I really wish they would have done something like that. I understand for scheduling, maybe they couldn't, but I figured while, and maybe because the strike was going on and stuff, they couldn't do some of that. But man, I wish they could have pulled in at least one or two commentary tracks. I really love commentary tracks. I love seeing and hearing how things are made and decisions that are made, but hopefully the documentaries will be enough to scratch that itch for me without the commentaries. But for me, I'm excited. We already pre-ordered ours. If you order it from Walmart, I think it's $45. And Amazon, for some reason, has it for $55. I don't know what the difference is. It doesn't seem to be any difference to the versions. They look like the exact same steel book, same case. They come with the same three little, you know, photo or art prints. So I honestly don't know what the difference is or why there's a $10 difference. But Walmart's went up first and we are worried about, you know, things selling out or anything because sometimes steelbook collectors just go out and buy a bunch of these. So we were like, all right, let's just let's buy it on Walmart right now. We'll wait for Amazon later and see if there's a difference. And if there is, we'll buy both versions. But there's no major difference that we saw. So uh, or any difference that we saw. So we just went with the Walmart one. So I'll put a link down below. So you decide for yourself if they're still available, which I think as of recording this, they are. There's Walmart link and Amazon link to buy Moon Knight. And if you want to look at the other stuff too, like Andor, Obi-Wan, and Falcon Winter Soldier, those are up on Amazon and Walmart as well. But the links I'm going to provide are for Moon Knight. <laughs> so yeah, if you're a Moon Knight fan, go check those out. And uh, when the show, you know, when it releases on Blu-ray, we'll do like a little, you know, video where we're opening it, not really an unboxing, but we'll show it off and talk about it. Maybe I'll watch the deleted scenes and we'll talk a little bit about those in that. So um, yeah, we'll get into that later, but I have a video that I've been editing for a while now. I think I filmed it like two or three weeks ago where I actually broke down the first episode in two parts and we're going to you know, have that footage finally showing up where I'm going through the episode, talking about my favorite moments and comparing it to some of the stuff we deal with in our everyday life with our system. So it'll be hopefully educational, but also fun and entertaining too. I try to keep it light and not get too serious with it, but I imagine when we get to episode five, it's we're going to hit, you know, some major emotions there. 
So I'm pacing myself. So, uh, so yeah, that video will be edited soon and we'll have more content on this channel very, very soon. Thanks for sticking out with me. I've been sick. I haven't been feeling well lately, me and Purple and a couple of us. So it's been hard and I just decided don't make anything. Don't stare at the light. Don't have it in your eyes. Like, you know, you're sensitive to light, sensitive to sound. Wait till you get a little bit better. And now that we're doing better, I figured, I mean, our stomach still hurts. We're still going through that, but yeah, I feel good enough to make some of these videos in like 10, 20 minute increments and then take a break for a while. So I'm going to try to knock some of these out tonight and try to catch up on stuff that I missed uh, posting for you guys. So let me know what you think down below. Are you excited for Moon Knight on Blu-ray? I certainly am. And like I said, we'll have more Moon Knight content soon, including a full review of the trading cards that came out recently. We're definitely going to have that video up very soon as well. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace. Mm -hmm.